Type 2 diabetes is a multifactorial polygenic disease and it's well established that combinations of genetic and non-genetic factors influence the risk for disease. However, it's been less well established whether epigenetic modifications contribute to type 2 diabetes. So, over the last 10 years, my research group has been trying to establish and examine if there are epigenetic modifications in patients with type 2 diabetes. We've also tried to examine whether non-genetic risk factors such as aging, diet and obesity, and impaired intrauterine environment contribute to epigenetic modifications and thereby risk for type 2 diabetes. Finally, we've been trying to dissect and examine the interaction between genetic and epigenetic factors and how they together can contribute to type 2 diabetes. Today I will present some of the key findings from our research group and I will show some epigenetic modifications we have identified in pancreatic islets from patients with type 2 diabetes compared to non-diabetic controls. Uh, what we did to do this was a genome-wide analysis of DNA methylation throughout the genome of approximately half a million CPG sites and after correction for multiple testing, we found 3,000 CPG sites showing differential methylation in pancreatic islets from donors with type 2 diabetes compared to controls. We further uh, tried to connect these differences to changes in gene expression. And some of the genes we then identified, such as PD7B and CDKN1A, were functionally followed up. And these two genes showed decreased DNA methylation and increased gene expression in the pancreatic islets from the diabetic donors. And to mirror these changes, we overexpressed these two genes in clonal beta cells to see if they affected insulin secretion. And indeed, when we overexpressed these two genes, we found this resulted in decreased insulin secretion suggesting that both of these genes may contribute to the impaired insulin secretion seen in patients with diabetes and connecting the epigenetic modifications with type 2 diabetes. And more recently, we have also tried to dissect how non-genetic factors such as aging influence the epigenetic pattern in human pancreatic islets. And we then found approximately 250 CPG sites which all showed increased methylation in pancreatic islets as you age. So this was in contrast to what we found in diabetic people, where the methylation pattern actually decreased. So we thought this was a bit strange. So we tried to understand this further, and we went on to try to find biomarkers in blood that mirror these age-related changes in the human pancreatic islets. And we found that uh, more than half of the epigenetic changes that took place in the pancreatic islets also took place in blood as we age. So we selected a few of these markers, for in instance KLF14, and we analyzed these epigenetic sites, so the changes in DNA methylation, in blood from non-diabetic people, that later on, or 10 years later, some of these developed type 2 diabetes. And we could then find that the changes in KLF14 DNA methylation actually was associated with future risk of type 2 diabetes. And we also found that it was associated with future insulin secretion. So together we think that we can use biomarkers in blood or epigenetic biomarkers in blood to mirror and to follow what actually happens in human pancreatic islets as you age. And these changes we saw as you age seem to be rather protective than causing the disease and contribute to that as you become more and more insulin resistant, they may contribute to that you can respond and secrete more and more insulin rather than to get sick. Finally, we have also performed analysis where we have interacted genome-wide genetic and epigenetic data. And here we can see that several of the risk genes that were identified by GWAS studies also interact with our epigenome suggesting that you may have interactions between genetic and epigenetic changes together contributing to type 2 diabetes. Finally, I want to thank my research group and the Endocrine Society for inviting me here today.